Kevin, you're one of the hottest crowds I've seen tonight. Oh my God, you are good looking. I'm not sure I'm looking, because some woman in the back, I think she thought she was giving me a compliment. She said I looked just like her favorite TV character. Who? Dexter. <laughs> that, do I look like Dexter to you? That's not a compliment, people. That's, to be compared to a serial killer. Yeah. Well, I was like, yeah, thanks, lady. You look like Carla Homoka, hot, but psychotic. <laughs> So, uh, I, this is great though, I'm on a whole quest for spiritual enlightenment, and uh, I went all the way from Korea to India looking for it till it hit me. I could just Google it. And, uh, oh yeah, do you know you should be Facebook friends with the Pope now? Uh, sure, check it out, he's got over two million friends, but today I'm feeling pretty special, because today, the Pope poked me. Uh, <laughs> hey, so I poked him right back, what would he vote? Checked his relationship status, single, so... <laughs> There's hope! There's hope for me and the Pope. Yeah. Checked under his robe, nothing. I knew it, right? I knew it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I didn't know that I had a drug problem until I was in Korea. I mean, I was there two years, no drugs. That was a problem. <laughs> and, uh, nice place, nice people. They speak three languages there. They speak uh, Korean, English, and Konglish. It's got like a bastardization too. Like for example, for uh, browsing, we'll call it window shopping, they'll call it eye shopping, or we'll call a dog spot, they'll call it breakfast. You know, just... <laughs> okay, anyone's got a problem with that joke, you can lick my balls. Because, uh, because what, because you had a dog as a pet? Well, you get to set the menu for the world, but you also had a fish, but you ate sushi, right? And, and, or what, you gonna tell he's part of the family? Yeah, part of the family. Did you type grandma out back? Yo, hey, grandma, stop barking! Yeah, you're part of the family. And if you ate a cow, you got nothing on nobody, because eating steak to a Hindu is like dieting on their deity. All right, that's like taking Jesus down from the cross, smothering all the crucifixins, biting him, like, um, delicious baby Jesus back ribs. It's like, give me a break. We just need to get perspective here. And what I love most are these new posters they've got on the TTC. It's got a picture of the pig and the puppy. Have you seen them? It says, like, why eat one and not the other? You know Koreans are looking at that, licking their lips, going, exactly, they're both delicious. We don't have to argue anymore. <laughs> ah, my shit's out. Exactly, yeah. Judge the police. All right. But what I'm amazed at most, though, is women. I mean, how you can multitask emotions. You guys are amazing. Like, I saw this driving my sister home recently. She broke up with her boyfriend. So, <laughs> I just don't know what I'm going to do without him. I just, I just loved him so much. <laughs> I just, I thought we were going to live together and get married. And okay, turn right here and just a second. Ask in the right. Okay, <laughs> How the hell do you do that? Ladies, you're awesome. You should bottle that shit. You take over the world. Yeah, holy Jesus. But uh, driving, you know the cops now want to start doing blood tests to see if we're driving high? I mean, come on. If you think a guy's uh, on pot, hand him a bag of cookies. Time him. <laughs> on cocaine. Say, hey man, how you doing? How am I doing? Do what it makes. Walk on the shirt, work in the shirt, work in the shirt. Everyone's looking at me, we're thinking that I'm just thinking I'm making some. I'm the most complicated thing. I'm scared. I'm mad, I'm mad. What was the question? <laughs> if you think a guy's on heroin, just wake him up. Hey man, are you on heroin? Yeah. <laughs> oh. But it's the paranoia that gets you. You ever been so paranoid when you're on making a pizza call and you hang up on the pizza guy because the pizza guy just knows way too much about you? <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about the rest of you there right now. That's paranoia. But the most paranoid I get is about marriage. Does anyone here know of a good marriage? <laughs> really? <laughs> really, I'm surprised. That's one of the most... Who, who said yes? What? It's not the last time. Say it. Where are, you? are you here with your partner? Yes. Is that he, she? Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm not judging. That's cool. You know, to each their own. Is that a... a Sam. A, Sam. That's, that's like Pat. That doesn't help. <laughs> Sam. Sam, you didn't speak up, dude. You're in a lot of trouble when you go home. <laughs> well, I, for me, I haven't ever seen 
seen one myself, because for me it's like the Loch Ness Monster Mary's Bigfoot, like the photos are all fuzzy, there's rumors, you know? And I think most of the problem is that we get married on the best day, in our best clothes, with our best friends, and our best man, and people will show you pictures of their wedding, and people will show you pictures of their honeymoon, but nobody ever shows you a picture of the day they get back from the honeymoon, right? And it counts! Because there's nothing to look forward to at that point. The whole till death do you part starts to sound like the escape clause from the marriage contract. <laughs> that, that's why I think we should get married on the worst day. We should get married in the worst weather. Stuck on the TTC late for work. <laughs> in front of people that just hate you. In front of people that stink and stand like this. Bride or groom, bitch, get over that phone! And instead of exchanging rings, you exchange punches in the gut. And then you're stuck in a hole, covered up for a weekend with nothing to eat but your hair and your fingernails. And after three days, you are let out. And if your wedding can survive that, your marriage has got a real shock. <laughs> yeah, and then after 30 years, or whatever 30 sounded like to you, after that amount of time, then you get the wedding, the honeymoon, and it's all paid for by society. Who's with me? Come on! Let's start a cultural revolution! Yeah! Oh, I love you people, I really do, and I want to do nasty things to you, but my fear of commitment makes me leave you. Good night!